Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys six more tips and tricks that you probably didn't know for Valorant. Once again, these are going to range from agent-specific tricks to just anything I think you guys should know to help you improve at Valorant. But before this video starts, if you are part of the nearly 90% of people watching this who aren't subscribed and you wanna see more Valorant guides like this, then I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. So the first trick I have is on split here. If you are playing Jet on split, you can do a pretty insane boost. So all you want to do is walk onto rafters here and you're going to be aiming for this spot right here on the roof. And then all you need to do is dash and then double updraft up into this spot. Needless to say, this spot is incredibly overpowered. You can see the entrance into B heaven. You can see anyone leaving B main onto B site. And of course, if you're trying to use this for some sneaky kills in your games, you should use it sooner rather than later as it is definitely going to get patched. If you're playing Cypher on Ascent, you can boost on top of these barrels, either using the solo boost method or by having a friend boost you. And what you can do is jump onto the roof of the shed here, hold W and spam crouch to continue moving up the roof. And then once you're high enough on the roof of the shed, you can place your camera on the corner of the roof of this building. And this is obviously a great camera spot. You can see a little bit of the entrance into B main as well as from market. Another great thing about this camera is that most people actually don't know about it yet, so this isn't a camera spot that they are looking out for. Pretty specific tip for if you're playing Cypher on Ascent, but still that is a really good camera spot that I recommend you use if you get the chance. If you are playing Sage and you have a Reyna on your team, you can actually set up a boost using Reyna's Leer. All you need to do is have Reyna's Leer close to the ground, and then you can jump and place your Sage Wall under your feet, and it will place on top of the Leer floating in the air even after the Leer is gone. This allows you to create some insane boost spots and headshot angles, including this one outside of Ascent B main that allows you to see the attackers right at the start of the round. Another trick for Ascent here is a plant spot that not a lot of people know about. People assume that the best plant spots are behind the double boxes or behind the generator, but there's actually a small spot in front of the tall wooden box that doesn't look like it's on the site, but you can still plant the spike there. And the reason that I think this is the best plant spot is because you can play catwalk and peek the bomb from catwalk if it's being diffused. You can also just peek from tree in general to see if it's being diffused as well. And of course, you can peek from A main. And this is the only plant spot on the whole site that allows you to peek from all three of these angles. The only thing you need to keep in mind is that if you haven't cleared site yet, you can easily get shot through this wooden box. On bind, it's becoming more common that people will try and fake a teleport by throwing either their pistol in or by throwing abilities in. So to avoid falling for this trick, you should know that there are two different teleporter sounds, one for abilities and weapons and one for agents that walk through. This is what it sounds like when abilities or guns go through. And this is what it sounds like when agents go through. So yeah, just keep that in mind the next time you think you hear someone teleporting. Once again, back on Ascent, you can actually boost on top of these bricks, just like how you can boost on top of the boxes on Bind A site. You just want to stand and jump in the corner while your teammate holds crouch and walks under you. If you have another teammate there, you can obviously repeat this process to get all the way on top of the boxes. This is a boost that has been used in pro level matches, so if you get the opportunity to use this in one of your games, then I would highly recommend you use it. It is a great sneaky spot that people don't expect to have to always clear. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tips and tricks video. If you want to see more Valorant videos and guides like this, then I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. 